Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held yesterday his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura and Representatives Councils, members of the Municipal Council, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the visitors, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's aspirations to maintain a strong bond among the society of Bahrain. The Majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the Majlis and emphasized his important role in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Bahraini Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, patronized today the Ministry of Youth and Sports annual ceremony attended by the Minister of Youth and Sports, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Joder, Assistant Under Secretaries, Directors, Heads of Departments, and Employees of the Ministry. His Highness announced that the employees of the Ministry have become advisors to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as they are best able to propose ideas aimed at developing the youth and sports movement. Sheikh Nasser stressed that the ministry's employees are highly responsible and are the best to describe the proposals that seek to develop the administrative and technical work in the ministry. His Highness expressed pride in the achievement of the ministry, highlighting His Majesty the King's pride in the accomplishments of the youth and sports movement. He also praised the administrative and technical work carried out by the youth and sports caters. For his part, the Joder affirmed that the ministry's accomplishments are a reflection of the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the youth and sports movement, as well as the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser. The ceremony included a screening of a film on the achievements of the ministry in 2017, the launch of a book on the administrative systems, website services and the ministry's annual book, and a video of His Highness's support of the youth and sports sector. On the occasion of Bahrain Football Association's launch of the Nasser bin Hamad Premier League, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa affirmed that the growing development level of football in Bahrain reflects the solid determination to develop the football system in various fields. He asserted his full support to the measures taken by Bahrain Football Association to apply its strategy of making further achievements for Bahraini football. 
football. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed his support to the association in cooperation with Bahrain Olympic Committee and the other authorities to achieve its goals optimally and to apply its strategy of developing Bahraini football. He affirmed his determination to achieve the required development for Bahraini football. He asserted his support to Bahrain Football Association and Bahrain Olympic Committee during the new league. He noted his keenness on increasing the gains of Bahraini football on all levels, hailing the new ideas of the association's board of directors that aim to develop Bahraini football. The Ministry of Work, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning began implementing the Buri Village project to construct an exit from the village to Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman Street, which comes under the goal to reduce traffic congestion at vital intersections. The project comes under the, director, the direction of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to reduce traffic congestion. The project also included laying ground channels for use by technical services as as well as the establishment of a rain drainage network, street signs, ground panes to achieve security and safety. The street has an estimated capacity of about 500 vehicles per hour, which will contribute to facilitate mobility and achieve the wishes of the people for easy access to commercial and residential facilities in the country.